You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Air Flight Hirachis. These are the Nike Air Flight Hirachi 2023 Retro. If you're familiar with the channel, you know over here at Shusha Shot TV, we love Nike basketball shoes from the 90s. So these were a must cop for us. Right here, they have this cage-like upper in a synthetic suede material that houses the ankle area, including the neoprene booty. The neoprene booty is a two-toned insert that has the Varsity purple colorway and a blue colorway. It kind of looks like a Hyper Royal and it's a very soft like neoprene material. Right here on the front of that neoprene tongue, you have this rubberized Hirachi logo. It says Air Hirachi by Nike. And taking us down to the tongue, you have perforated holes for breathability, comes with flat white laces, and it comes with a lot of eyelets, like a second row, but honestly, I've never seen anyone lace them in that bottom row of eyelets. Personally, I wouldn't do it either. And taking us down to the toe box and most of the side paneling of the shoe, you have this leather overlays. It's not like a premium leather, it's not tumbled leather, but it's a good quality leather. It might be synthetic leather. Right here on the side panels that kind of connect the toe box to the tongue, you have this checkered like canvas material that kind of ties it all together. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have that classic Hirachi cage that you see on all the Hirachi runners. It has this Nike in translucent purple. And under that, you have the AIR embroidered in purple as well. Taking us to the midsole, it's this very sleek aerodynamic looking midsole that houses the air units in the forefoot and the heel. And then you have this small little flight logo, the F right there on the back. On the bottom, the outsole, you have all this traction here in the varsity purple, the blue in a hint of mint green, kind of like a seafoam green for the Nike logo. Classic, screams 1990s. And for those of you who don't know, these were designed by Tinker Hatfield, but it was a collaborative effort. Originally, I thought Tinker was the only one that designed them, but it turns out Eric Avar also had a little input on these as well. He designed some of my favorite basketball shoes like the foam posits. Tinker designed the original Nike Hirachi Runner, and Eric Avar helped turn it into a basketball shoe. These were made popular by the Fab Five from Michigan, Chris Webber, Juwan Howard, Jalen Rose, and those guys. They really went against the grain at the time. They really brought their off-the-court fashion and style into the game. They wore really baggy basketball shorts. They wore black Nike socks, which was opposite of what everyone else was doing. And they wore some of my favorite Nike basketball shoes of all time, like the Flight Hirachi, the Arab Tempo 2, the Air Force Max, just to name a few. This right here is synonymous with them, but also Scottie Pippen wore these and Reggie Miller would wear these from time to time. And even Kobe Bryant wore these in the Laker colorway when he was a free agent for a sneaker deal. And I've been wearing Hirachi since the 2000s when they retroed then. I had the white, black, and silver colorway. And then I even got the Zoom Hirachi 2K4s. And they retroed in 2014. I picked them up then. I loved them at the time because it was a, a minute since they came out, but they don't really come close to the 2023 retro, the shape is all kinds of off, the tongue's really short, and I enjoyed them, but I'm really glad to have these, which is closer to the original version from 1992. The only thing that I'm kind of disappointed in is the lack of brightness on the purple. I felt like it could have been a little bit brighter, more vibrant compared to the original. But I really love the Flight Hirachi. It's a classic to me. If you've watched our Jordan 37 review, you know I really love the Jordan 7 as well. Those released the same year and they have a lot of similarities as far as having the neoprene booty, the synthetic suede cage. And I love the Raptor 7s. Hopefully those come out soon, but these will hold me over until then. Same era, same timeline. I picked these up from Manor out in Phoenix for 125 in late May. They had a global release on June 7th, but they seem to have sold out pretty much everywhere. If you look hard enough, you might still be able to find your size. Or if you wait it out, some other retailers might get them down the line, so be on the lookout for that. As far as comfort goes, they run really narrow and kind of short in the toe. My 2014s are a size 10 and they fit great. Unfortunately, Manor was sold out of a size 10, so I went with the nine and a half, hoping for the best because I wanted them early, but I definitely would prefer a size 10. These fit true to size, but a snug true to size. So if you have a wider foot or if you're looking for a little bit more wiggle room, I highly suggest going up a half size. But as far as style goes, it's iconic. I've been bigging these up all episode. Screams 1990s, I love the silhouette. Great style, great colorway. 
What I am hoping for is that these get a lot of traction and we get some newer colorways, other 90s inspired colorways. If we get like the Hirachi screen green in these, that would be tight. We get like an infrared colorway. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool too. So hopefully Nike gives us some cool colorways that we've never seen before, but that still holds true to that era of 1990s. How do you guys feel about the Nike Air Flight Hirachis? Were you able to hit on sneakers? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and see how these look on foot. Wait. Greedy Air Max 95 me. J Kid, how we run the fast break. Dub DT, you will never stop this way. Snap my pick for you hate on this. Watch me go off 55 on the Knicks. Working with some, I'ma show you this shit. Whips on whips, kicks on kicks. No reps. Light work, how she make the ass work. That's my light work, don't need to chase that. Do it got turbo, do you wanna race that? Catch me at the house where the food and the drink at. Get us by the bag, I'ma have to show up. Get this bitch lit, make it go up. We is ready for the game, they don't need to show up. Dub DT, that's my word. And that's our episode for today, but if you guys are enjoying content like this, make sure you check out all these other videos right here as well. Tons of content for you guys to watch, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.